Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video. Today we have the review of the Nike Pro Combat knee sleeves, but before we get into that, if you guys do not follow me on Twitter, you probably don't know this, but I've started a new channel. It's called I Rant You Rate, just like you see on the screen right there. And basically this is going just going to be a channel where I talk about things that annoy me. Hopefully you guys find it entertaining. Uh, there will be a link down in the description or you can click or you can click the annotation on the screen right now. So please go check that out. It'll be much appreciated. I'll be uploading videos there about once a week. So it'll be much appreciated if you guys could go over there and support me on the new channel. But now straight into this review and let's start off with the fit. So I felt these fit very well, actually extremely well. I, they just fit your leg very well. They were cut very well and the elastic definitely helps. These are size medium. Uh, I have a pretty skinny leg, so uh, I thought I was going to be a size small, but these are size medium, so they do run snug uh, from what you would expect. Also, uh, the packages are not sealed in store, so you can try them on in store to figure out what size you need, so do not worry about uh, buying the wrong size or anything like that. They are open in store, so I just tried these on in store. They fit fine, so I got them, so sizing is very good. In terms of breathability, that was the biggest problem I had with these. As you can see, it is a mainly spandex material on the front right here. Very thick and uh, not very breathable at all as you can see. It's the like just about that thick as you can see all the way down the same material. So not a lot of breathability on the front, but on the back where the back of your knee is, as you can see there's a much lighter and thinner mesh. This is actually very breathable, so lots of the heat was carried over here and released through here as well as your uh, sweat. So breathability was not awful except especially right here where the seams are. You will experience some hot spots and it will get very very warm and sweaty. But for me that's not a big deal. For you guys that have a problem with that, this might not be the product for you. Okay, now onto cushioning. I do realize these are not specifically made for cushioning, except I felt I would throw it in here anyway for you guys For you guys who want to know. Uh, I felt the cushioning was actually surprisingly good considering how thick this is. As you can see, it's just a thin layer of spandex material, but the cushioning was very good on these for the amount of material that is used. I have tried knee pads in the past, like thick ones, and I can't really play in them. I find them too bulky and too uncomfortable to play in, so for me, Something thin like this was very good because it did not fully cut down on the impact. Like you could still feel the thump of your knee hitting the court or your knee hitting someone else's knee. Except that sharp pain of bone on bone or bone on hardwood was definitely removed. It was more of a duller impact and you did not actually feel much pain. Obviously you're still going to get bruises and be feeling it after the game. Except during the game you're not going to be feeling that pain. It is not going to take you out of your game state. So definitely a good thing for cushioning in terms of a minimal setup obviously you can get better cushioning uh, knee pads but for what this is just a thin little spandex thing i think it provided very good cushioning now on to support and lockdown i thought these did a very good job obviously that's what they're supposed to do they're supposed to hold everything in place and they did an extremely good job of that basically your knee sits right about here and then this will go below your knee and this will be above your knee and this crease right here is where your knee bends and they fit very well they kept your knee and all the ligaments and whatnot in place and you just felt really locked down uh, usually when I play basketball my knees get sore and it's really hard to describe but they just have this aching feeling when I play basketball most of the time and with these, I felt none of that at all. These were very, very good in terms of lockdown and support. In terms of where to find these, I got these for around $30 at SportCheck, basically like Dick's Sporting Goods. It shouldn't be that hard to find. Basically all your sports stores should have these. Maybe check like a physiotherapy place as well, but these should not be that hard to find. Once again, around $30. If I had the packaging, I would show you, except it has been thrown out, so I can't show you. But if you want to go find the packaging, you should be able to Google Nike Pro Combat Knee Sleeve Packaging and find the, uh, find the picture of the box if you guys want to know what to look for. But they should not be that hard to find. Since these are an elastic material, you guys do not want to put them in your uh, 
in your washing machine or your dryer because the elastics will fray and uh, they will the uh, the knee sleeves will no longer be useful because they will not fit your leg like they're supposed to. So how I wash them is I fill up my sink with cold water. I take a washcloth and some dish soap, uh, some dish soap. Pardon me. And I uh, just take the cloth and scrub it all around, inside and out. I flip them up, I flip them inside out. Do the same thing, both sides. Just scrub it, because if you do put these in the washer, they are going to uh, get completely destroyed, and the uh, the elasticity of them is going to disappear, making them useless. So just use cold water and a cloth for washing these. Definitely recommend that. They will definitely last longer if you do that, and you will get your money's worth out of them. So that is it for the review guys. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. Let me know if you found it useful down in the comment section below. If you have any questions about these, let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know what kind of knee pad or elbow pad or whatever you prefer when playing sports. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my new channel. In the description below there will be a link, so definitely go check that out. Until next time, peace.